Do you want to learn how to do a Bible study that'll sync to your computer, to your phone, or anywhere else you have internet access? If so, stick around and I'll show you how to use the app Notion to do your Bible study. I've also created a couple templates to help you with this that I'll be giving away later in the video, so stick around for that. What's up guys, my name is Jeff and I make videos just like this every single week to make faithful followers of Jesus and equip them to change the world. If that sounds like what you're looking for, do me a favor and go and hit that subscribe button. Maybe tap that little bell notification so you can be notified every time I put out a video. All right guys, so today we're gonna be jumping into an app called Notion. If you're not familiar with Notion, it is a productivity app um, on your phone, on your computer, it's on Windows or Mac, it's on Android or iPhone, or it's just on your browser. Okay, so let's take a look at what my setup looks like and how I'm currently using it and how I plan to use it for Bible study. And I'll show you the download that I'll have for you guys to use through your own Bible studies. All right, so this is what my homepage looks like. This is what's kind of cool about Notion is you can create your own homepage and create it to be anything you want. So I have uh, custom headings. I have church, YouTube, productivity, spiritual, personal, business, finance, and just all the different things that kind of encompass my life. I even have a quote here by C.S. Lewis. I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen. Not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Love that quote. Now if I wanted to edit this page, I currently have it locked just so I don't mess with stuff, but I can unlock it. Um, and then I can go down here and I can, you know, I can move this under here. I can, I can move all of it around. I can multi-select um, and then move this whole block. You know, a bunch of different things. It's it's very customizable, but each of these are a page. Um, so for that bold life for the channel, um, this is the page I have. You can see I have my yellow heading up here. Um, just these are different notes that actually I imported from Evernote, so they're not incredibly uh, organized. But as you can see, it leaves a breadcrumb trail up here. I really like that. So you can just always click back home. Um, here's home. So. What we're going to talk about today is this little feature right here. This Bible study is actually a template that I've made. Um, and at the moment, I have two different Bible studies in here. I have the SOAP method, which is one of the first methods I learned whenever I first became a Christian and learned how to read the Bible is SOAP. And then there's another one, which is actually I found uh, on the YouVersion Bible app. And it, they're called Deeper into Scripture. So I want to give them a shout out because it is their method that I'm using. But I really enjoy the method. And I think it, it applies itself perfectly to using an, and Notion as an app like this. So here's what my basic SOAP method looks like. Um, I have this created. I have some little icon set. And it's SOAP, so it stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. Um, so what we'll do is first we'll type in whatever scripture that spoke to us. We'll observe, so what was meaningful about it? What did we learn? How was God speaking to us through it? How do we apply it? How will it change you? And use the scripture as a guided prayer. And here we just kind of have a place to note down any prayers, like if God spoke to us, if we if we feel a certain calling or, you know, whatever. We have that open space in prayer to fill it out how we see fit. Um, and then under the deeper into scripture, this method, I actually have it kind of noted. This is this is just about from the Bible app. Just to, I want to again shout these guys out. I did not come up with this. They did. Um, but I, I really, really love this method. Um, so it says this method is from deeper into scripture plans on the YouVersion Bible app. This method will take you four times through each passage or chapter. So you can do it as either a short passage or as a chapter. But then each pass will have a different focus and more will open up as you read through it. Um, so your first pass is this is your entering. So right here, you're going to write down anything that comes out to you. So the circumstances, the people, the places, what's being dealt with, maybe what Jesus said or, you know, what he didn't say, whatever speaks to you on your first pass, you're going to read through it. The second time you're going to go through it, you're going to go a little more slowly and you're going to note if a word seems to repeat itself. Wow. He says, therefore, several times. What did he mean by therefore? Or just whatever seems to impress on you, what seems to stick out. The third time through, you're gonna pray through it. So as you're reading, maybe you're reading and you're praying as you're reading, God, do this for me, or God, lead me away from this kind of temptation, or, or whatever it is, just be praying through it. And the fourth reading, you're gonna live it. Ask God to show you how he wants you to live based on this scripture. Is there something he would have you start doing, stop doing, or continue doing? So this is just gonna be my second one. We'll click back 
And one thing really cool about Notion is it has templates. You see, I have study templates down here. So I don't have to go and recreate all of this or I'd have to type or even copy and paste or, or you know, duplicate it. That would just, that would take forever. So one cool thing about Notion is you can create templates. So I have one new soap study. All I gotta do is click that and it has created me a new one. So my naming method is gonna be soap dash whatever I'm studying. So today we'll look at John three. Okay, but now I've created that right there is my whole new one. It did not did not edit this one. It just created a duplicate and I've retitled it. So I'm gonna drag it down here to my current studies. This is what I'm going through at the moment. So I'll have this open here and I have really been loving the esv.org to read. Uh, normally I'm a Bible Gateway guy, but I've been reading a lot more of the English Standard Version. I love how clean esv.org is, so I've been using this for my study. So this is what my study would look like, is I would have my Bible open over here on the left. I would have my, my soap method over here on the right, or my deeper into scripture, whichever method I'm using. For this, for my scripture, say a, a verse that stuck out to me, I would, I would say uh, John 3.16. And I can easily copy and paste it. I don't recommend doing that. I want you to type it out. Sort of like when you're in school and they make you write sentences. It just that that effect of actually typing it out for yourself and, and going back over it yourself. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, it correct punctuation too, preferably. Okay, so my scripture is, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And that is gonna be John 3.16. So there's my scripture. Maybe that's what spoke to me. If I want another, all I do is press enter and I can type that out right here. Uh, easy as that. But uh, just for this example, we'll go through John 3.16. I don't think you guys wanna go through an entire study with me. That could be a lengthy video. If you do, let me know, and maybe we'll do that. So um, then I'm gonna observe, how was this meaningful? What did I learn? How was God speaking to me? So um, John 3, 16, first off, uh, to me, I know that it was almost a reference to, uh, to, uh, to Isaac being spared uh, with Abraham. So maybe I would say, uh, first off, uh, this is interesting. Okay, this is, this is, I'm just putting stuff here that will spark my mind later. I want to go back through and reread these. Um, so in second. Okay, so I'm, I would just be adding in a few things here. And again, I can do as many bullet points as I want. I can just keep this going, keep this going. Okay, so application, how does John 3.16 change me? So just a couple of things. The people I encounter daily that irritate me, that are rude, that cut me off in traffic, right? Those people that drive me insane. Jesus died for them too. In scripture, how am I gonna pray this? And at this point, I would, I would probably stop from the computer for just a moment and actually pray this and have an intimate moment with God and then write down anything I feel like God spoke to me or maybe a prayer that came up. So maybe during my prayer, just for some reason, I felt the need to pray for my wife, Jessica. So I would say, Prayed for Jessica, felt led by the Spirit. I don't know, I've, th this part is open to you, whatever you want it to be. And this is kind of what this would look like. I would, I would take the time to really go through this. Over here, once I was done, I would just move it over here maybe to complete it. And, and what I may do is, uh, so I'll show you real quick one thing that I plan on doing is creating um, kind of tag, tagged lists. So, uh, if you type in a little slash on Notion, you can type tag, uh, let me see, toggle, sorry, toggle, a, a toggle list. And I plan on doing this for maybe each book that I go through. Um, so now I can drop this down and I can drag my, uh, my John studies under John. And now it's there, it, it's completed, but it's more organized. And actually I'll, I'll leave this toggle list in it in the giveaway or in the template giveaway so you guys will have it. Uh, but now you can kind of keep that organized. All my John studies are right here. Um, so the same thing is true with this deeper into scripture study. If you want to create a new one, you just click deeper into scripture. Um, I don't, I don't have a titling method for this yet. Um, let's just go into scripture. Uh, maybe John three is how I would do that. And you see, as soon as I've, I've done that, it is right here. 
And so I'm gonna go and drag it to my current studies. I don't wanna leave anything up here. This is just for my templates. And, and the same thing, it works the same on your phone. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on how to do it on your phone, but you just press, hold down and drag it where you want it. And it goes there. Um, but now I have this. And so just as I did the soap method, I would go through and I would read and I would just note all these things. And I would just kind of follow these basic instructions. And it's just a, a powerful method. Anyway, guys, I, I'm like I said, I'm just scratching the surface with Notion, but I do love everything that it's capable of and everything that it does. Um, I plan on in the future, maybe doing a separate video for Bible journaling and uh, maybe a prayer journal. Um, so if you want to see those videos, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Let me know that you'd love to see the Bible journal and the prayer journal and how I'm using that. Um, if you have any other suggestions or if you're also a Notion user or looking to jump into the Notion world, let me know. Anyway, guys, if you want to access this template, I'll have um, this exact page. So you'll have the templates and you'll have the example studies. If you want this, I'll have it linked down in the description. Uh, so go check it out. And when you, when you find yourself on a Notion template, all you have to do is go to where it's linked to online and I'll have a link to a page just like this one and you just click duplicate up here in the right corner and it's going to duplicate it see to jeff home to my account you do have to be signed in on your web browser but you can see right there it is this is i just duplicated um, this bullet journal template um, and it's as easy as that now i have it and i have access to all those notes so this bible study i'm doing here uh, it'll be as simple as that all you do is duplicate it and you're good to go Anyway, guys, I know this has been a different kind of video, but I do hope that it helps you. I, I personally love new tools like this, um, and I'm really kind of migrating my life into Notion. Um, but if you guys want more tutorials, more things like this, more tech stuff, because I'm a, I'm a techie guy. I love tech. Uh, if you want more stuff like this and how you can use it in your Christian faith, do me a favor and let me know down below. I, I'm thinking about doing more videos like this. I'm thinking about doing a whole series of videos on the best Bible app. Um, so what what app is best on your phone? Um, and I'm thinking about doing that in subcategories like best for reading, best for studying, um, best for journaling, best for memorizing. And uh, I don't know, just some ideas I'm having. If you guys like that kind of stuff, you like those ideas, do me a favor and let me know because uh, I, I think it'd be really cool and it's kind of stuff I'm into. So I'd like to do that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you're going to use Notion in this template that I've created. All right, guys. Love you. Keep living that bold life.